to another video and um, basically today I'm going to do like a story time thing because I definitely haven't done many story times and lots of people are asking for them and I think the last story time I did was the MDMA video so uh, yeah so this is basically the time that I got catfished and it's actually like a relationship catfish like um, this person pretended to be someone uh, that I liked obviously and I don't know if that was the person's intentions um, but this is the person, I'm going to hopefully show it on the screen, <laughs> so, um, yeah, and, um, basically he's an emo boy, and, like, I love emo boys, like, they're awesome, and, uh, you know, like, I will explain in another video, but basically I only date girls, because that's what I'm into, but when it comes to emo boys, some, some of them I'll give them a chance, because, like, that's who I am as a person, I'm emo as well, and, like, I don't know, I just, like, love them, like, Colby Brock, uh, Nikki Six and Douglas Booth, like Tommy Lee. Um, so, yeah, basically, uh, this is what happened. And um, I've got the things on my phone, which I'm going to hopefully show on the screen if I know how to edit it. Um, so, yeah, but basically, as you can tell, um, he basically liked my photo, kind of, like, put the fire thing, as you can see. And, like, I just said, thank you, you know. And then I saw his, like, profile picture, and I was like, like, is this an emo guy? Because... There's not many emo people that talk to me. I know a few people that like, you know, but I don't know, like I've always loved talking to emo people as well, you know, cause if I'm the only emo person like talking to someone, it's just like, well, it'd be quite cool to have a, like a, I don't know, conversation with someone that you have like common interest in and stuff. Um, so yeah, but basically um, he just said, where are you from? And you know, we just like, casually chatting and then he said he was 17 um and obviously if you're under 18 at the time um it's a bit dodgy but like I did like him and he looked awesome from his photos so um yeah so I said we sent each other selfies basically and he was saying like I was pretty and then he asked me do I have a boyfriend and um obviously I was like no but um I just found that really weird, but I didn't know if I was being catfished or not, to be honest, but I had it in my mind because I was like, well, this is a dream, like an emo boy, like coming up to me and saying, do you have a boyfriend? Like, do you want to be with me sort of thing? And uh, obviously it was going in that direction. And uh, I still had like 20% of like thinking I'm being catfished here, but 8% was like, I really wanted to believe it. And yeah, so basically, uh, we were talking to each other about, like, you know, what sort of uh, things we're interested in. And then suddenly it got, like, really serious. And as you can tell, like, when I put it on the screen, um, he says, Well, I'm so simple person, real life with high thinking. I like to be different or weird. Last year I lost my dad in a car accident. I'm not going to read the rest because I've cut it off because it's a bit too personal to share. But... You know, like, that was something personal to say, so I thought, well, how can I be catfished here? Maybe he is actually real, and maybe it's just, like, a dream come true, I suppose. Because, you know, you wouldn't say that, and I don't know, like, I just felt really sorry for him. And, like, basically, we were talking to each other about, like, our bad experiences and bad stuff that's happened in the past. And, um, yeah, but eventually, um, I asked him about video chat and he said he doesn't have a phone which i found really weird and um because like everybody has a phone and like i said about the computer and stuff and then he just says that like, i don't have much internet and that um that his dad and mum basically broke his computer or whatever but um you know, that could be true, and, like, I believed him at the end of the day, and that could definitely happen to loads of people, because I know that some people are going through stuff like that, where their mum is really mean, or, like, their family, and it's a shame, but, like, you know, at this point, I just found it a bit weird, you know, when he says he doesn't have a phone, um, and especially when he's an emo boy, but I guess I believed him, kind of, I still had it in my head that I was being catfished, but... Um, and then he said he wished he could chat on video calls, so I guess that that solved a bit more, like, confusion, if I was confused at the time. And so he recorded the video, as you can tell, and, like, um, and then he started to talk sexually, which is fine, because, you know, with, like, 
together at this point and um so yeah but like sending nudes or like things that are close to nudes when like you're in a relationship but like online and you have a little bit of um like i don't know memory of maybe being catfished it was just a bit weird but at the end of the day i'm not bothered about that personally because you know like i have like pictures of lingerie of me on my instagram <laughs> So, um, yeah, but then, like, we were just, like, talking, like, normal, and then he asked me to text him on my WhatsApp, and, um, so, yeah, I went on WhatsApp, and then, as you can see, like, on the screen, that these are the WhatsApp messages, and, um, then I asked him, why does his iPad say India, because that's what the, uh, number came up with, and I thought, this is just so weird, and I thought, maybe I am actually being catfished, like, this was the point where I was just, like, hold on a minute you know it says India that's where like the numbers from and you know as you know on whatsapp when you sign up with the number and stuff it'll say the country where you're accessing it from so I just felt really weird here and um, basically you made up the excuse as you can tell and um, yeah but anyway we went from there and I just thought nothing of it really but I had it was like 50% um, that was being catfished at this point, like, I just thought, well, maybe it's actually, like, a fake person, um, but I just didn't want it to be, like, I didn't want him to be fake, because he was nice to me, he always said that was beautiful, and, like, he was just really sweet, so, you know, um, so, yeah, basically, we just chatted all this time, I, I think it lasted about maybe two weeks or so, something like that and then eventually he just said that he wanted to say something and then I said that's okay you know because I didn't know what he was going to say but at this point I was thinking well I don't know if it's working out or not because um he seemed emo and stuff but like I don't know I like girls so it just didn't really work out like to be for me to be in a relationship with a guy, especially being emo, because that's the only type that I like, it would have to be someone like Colby Brock, <laughs> because uh, that's my, like, celebrity crush at the moment. And, um, so, you know, but at this point, I just didn't think it was working out. But I didn't want to say anything to him, because, as I have told you before, like, just now when I said about, like, him about the uh, bad experiences that he's had and this and that. I just felt so sorry for him if he was a true person. So, you know, I just didn't want to say anything. But then he said to me that um, he's not the person that I think he is. And I was like, I'm definitely being catfished. I felt like definitely 95% at this time I thought, well, this this is shit. <laughs> so, yeah. And he just said that um, he doesn't want to be a a fake person basically and that I was a good person and yeah so he apologized and stuff but to be honest like I was just like at this point you know we've been through a lot together in those two weeks of being together online like you know we've shared lots of personal information and so many things and he's always been nice to me like saying I was beautiful and I was nice with no makeup on and I feel really insecure about that and you know I just felt like I was benefited from this sort of experience so you know he's just saying it was hate himself and that he wanted me he said I can block him if I wanted to basically and uh, you know I asked him for a picture of his real self because you know I want to know who I'm talking to or who I've been talking to for these last two weeks and to know that it wasn't actually the emo boy it was actually a different person and um he just thought he looked terrible and I said you don't look terrible you know I'm gonna blur out I've obviously blurred out the picture of him because I don't want like anybody to be um, <laughs> revealed here but yeah and you know I ended up just saying that does he still like emo people and you know because that's something we would have in common if he did and it would make sense and he said yeah I love emo people because they look their looks or dress up like that so that means that we both are emo people and I thought well that's cool and basically that's how it happened <laughs> so I don't know um, what you guys think of this story but we're now friends to this day and it just goes to show that catfish is not always a bad thing I wouldn't suggest anybody to do it but you know I benefited from this situation and so did he in some ways so like 
it wasn't that bad at all. You know, it's a shame that I didn't date an emo boy because that's like a dream of mine. And um, yeah, so that's what it is at the end of the day. But I actually have got catfished a few times. But the worst experiences I've had so many times because obviously I have fans on social medias. And like when I block someone because they've sent a nude or like they've sent something that is just like way too inappropriate and way too far. Like and I've blocked them. They've come back as different people onto different accounts and make up a, like keep making up a new accounts and stuff and that's what sucks really bad like that is just so frustrating because you know when you block someone you don't want to see them again or you don't want to hear from them because of the bad experience from it and you know it doesn't bother me so much mentally anymore because you know I'm used to it but I just hate when people do that like that's so disrespectful like why would you send stuff like that in the first place you know you must be a bad person or whatever I don't know so <laughs> I just think it's a bit ridiculous what people do and what people get up to on Instagram and other social medias so yeah, and <laughs> um, I hope you guys like this story. To be honest, it was a bit different <laughs> than what I'd normally talk about. But yeah, I mean, we're still friends, me and that guy. And yeah, so <laughs> if you ever get catfished, then, or if you have been catfished, write it down in the comments and explain what happened. But yeah, it's not really nice of a pleasant experience, but in this situation it was, and I was really surprised because, you know, I was just like, well, you know, if someone's been through that much and if someone likes emo people and <laughs> if we have lots in common and he's been a nice person anyway, apart from just pretending to be someone else because that's what he felt like and he didn't feel like it was good enough. So, you know, I felt bad, bad for him to be honest, but as I said, we're still friends, so it ended up really well in the end. So I'm really happy that it turned out well because normally it doesn't. So yeah, if you guys like this uh, video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I am Barbie Carla and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.